I'm Louise Fletcher and I help artists to find their way creatively. And I thought what might be a cool idea to share with you is how I found my way creatively. Before I tell you about that, I am currently teaching a free workshop, but you can join in by just clicking on the link in the description or going to my website at louisefletcherart.com and looking at the For Artists tab. It's a free workshop called Find Your Joy. We've started, but you've still got time to join. Now, let's talk about me, my favorite subject. No, I'm just kidding. So when I started, all I knew about myself as an artist was I was going to be a representational painter. I'd always drawn and loved drawing as a child. And that was just my language was to draw things. So I was away from my art for a long time. But when I came back to it, the first thing I thought was drawing. And I made these pen and ink drawings kind of in a naive style. I did that for a while and they were all in black and white because I didn't know how to paint in color. At some point I got a set of watercolors and I thought watercolors would be easy. <laughs> Turns out they're not, but that's what I thought. For a while I painted animals and um, I loved doing that. It was good fun. I live in farmland, so I went and observed cows up close, took photos and then made these kind of slightly exaggerated cows. The cows though epitomized my problem. That was my style. I had made those cows without looking at anybody else's work. But from time to time, I would be in a pub or in a shop and I would see something that bore a quite a close resemblance to what I'd done. I wasn't original. And even though I wasn't copying someone else, I wasn't doing anything that was original. I was doing something that lots of other people had thought of doing and were doing and were selling in shops, in galleries, putting on restaurant walls. And so my work didn't look unique. And also there was the other problem was it didn't feel authentic to me. And there were some artists, I started to use Instagram and I started to see artists who I felt were being authentic to them, who were doing things that felt unique. Um, they have these styles that just grabbed my attention and that felt truthful and authentic. And I did not have that. What opened the door for me were a couple of teachers. One person that I worked with in person, um, her name is Leslie Birch, and she is an artist from York in the UK. She had an in-person workshop where she gave us all sorts of materials and told us to simply play with them and see what happened. Such an eye-opening experience. If I could, if there's one experience that changed my path as an artist, it would be that. The second one, which came shortly afterwards was with Nicholas Wilton who teaches a program called the Creative Visionary Program CVP and Nick also taught us to play. Nick taught us other things about colour and contrast and composition and all these things I had learned in other places in the past. These were not new to me but what was new to me was also what Leslie had shown me was that if you experiment and if you simply follow what you love and what matters to you, that that is the path of an artist, that that is literally all we have to do. I mean, yes, it's great. We do need to know about color and we do need to understand how composition works and knowing about the importance of tonal contrast and any good art program will teach those principles of art making and why they work. But teaching people the freedom to find their own way, that is something that doesn't happen very often. And I'm very grateful for those two people for giving that to me. And now I in turn work really hard to give that to other people. And that's what that free workshop is all about that I mentioned. Because it really is as simple as this. Find what you love doing, do more of it. Find what you don't enjoy, do less of it. That will put you on the path to expressing yourself authentically and uniquely. When you express yourself authentically, it can't help but be unique because you are unique. There's no other person like you on this planet. So it will be unique, but it will also be something that connects with other people because although we're all unique, we all live through many of the same experiences and we have many of the same emotional reactions and that's why great art connects 
connects with people. Now, what's important to realize as well is great art connects with people, but not all people. So not everyone loves the way Picasso painted, for example. Certainly not everyone loves the way, say, Jackson Pollock painted or the way Tracy Emin paints, but some people do. And the people who do passionately love that and passionately connect with it. So I'm not saying your work has to be like hers. Yours might be very meticulously detailed, hyper-realist portraits. That it, what it is, isn't important. But the fact that it's authentic to you and who you are and what you care about, that's what matters. We can sniff out inauthenticity from a mile away. And so that's why when I was making inauthentic work, I didn't sell very much of it. That's why now that I'm making more authentic work, I can generally sell what I make, not every single thing, but most things. So if I had to sum it up, how I found my way as an artist is by doing more of what I love doing and doing less of what I don't like doing. I follow that constantly wherever it leads me. Sometimes it leads me into working on portraits. More recently, that's been something different and then sometimes abstract, sometimes semi-abstract landscapes, sometimes fully abstract internal landscapes. Sometimes working in sketchbooks, sometimes on big sheets of paper, sometimes on wood panels, even on unstretched canvas I've done in the past. What do I feel like doing? What's making me happy? What's bringing me joy? Hence the name of my course, Find Your Joy. And just do more of that. So if you want to set off on your own artist path, find what you love, do more of it. Find what makes you tight, stressed, tense, worried, do less of it. No matter what you think is the right thing for an artist to do, doesn't matter. Put all that aside and just do what you love. That's all there is to it. Follow the link to join the free workshop if you're not already with us. And uh, I can't wait to see you in there. And if you are already with us, I'm just loving what's happening in there. So much amazing artwork. It's so exciting. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.